Hey there guys, welcome back to Fall of the Samurai, and um, as you remember from the last episode, I did repeat myself a little bit about my plans, so I'm not going to go over them too much, just a very, very quick recap. Uh, my army here, we attempted to do an invasion of Goto Island over here, um, we won the battle, surprisingly, um, but we needed to pull out and replenish our troop numbers, and I'm also reinforcing it with two units of line infantry, so once that's refreshed, I'll send it back with the fleet. Uh, back to Goto Island in a second invasion attempt. Um, I'm also needing to decide on what to do with um, Nagasaki because it turns out that my ori oops my um, original plan of taking Bungo first, thinking that these were all five random clans, it turns out Bungo, uh, Buzen, and Sukushi are all part of one clan so if I take out these two individual clans here first that will um, make things a lot easier so that's what I'll be planning on doing first I'll be attacking Nagasaki first and then going on to uh, Hizen <coughs> right um, construction complete police station at Hyuga Alrighty then. Um, okay, I can't really. I don't think I can build anything. I think. No, I can't build. Oh, I can upgrade Asumi to a city, but I want to upgrade it to a castle. And that costs over 6,000, so I'm gonna need to save up a little bit. Let's just move my agent around this way. Numbers are slowly getting there. Nagasaki doesn't have a garrison. I mean, it, it will have a garrison um, levy units, as all settlements in this game do, but I mean, like, in addition, it doesn't have, like, an army in there, so I'm wondering if maybe, if they haven't got an army there, then maybe there's an army over by the ports. Sometimes they they put their troops over by the ports. Um, let's just move my fleet around here and see, where, see what happens. See if we can spot anything. Nope, so the only thing I can think of is either they're hiding in the trees or they actually just don't have an army. Um, if they don't have an army, that's pretty good news for us. Four turns left to get that cannon research as well. I think I might turn the sound down a little bit. Turn down the music volume. Just a little bit. It's annoying about this. Uh, one one thing that's annoying about this game is that it doesn't it doesn't show you the percentage of the sound volumes. It just has the little slider, you know, like in Rome and in uh, well, I, I can't, actually I can't remember if it's in Rome, but in medieval at least there you have the percentage. So you can have it down at like forty percent or thirty percent. You can't do that in this one because it doesn't have that feature, which is really annoying. Okay, so we only have one turn left, and then we can. Uh, begin our move against Goto Island for a second time. I can finally build stuff as well. I'm at 5,302. Um, I don't know whether to upgrade Osumi to a castle yet or not. I'm thinking maybe just kill, use my money to upgrade everything that I have at the moment. No, I don't want to upgrade to a fortress at Satsuma. Um, let's see. Market. Plus 720 to wealth, plus 1 to happiness, plus 2 to turn growth. Plus one to monetization, minus one to happiness. And gambling in has six hundred wealth, two to happiness, one to turn one to town growth, minus one to monetization. Huh. What can I build in Osumi? I can build commercial farming or a barracks. I'm thinking maybe a barracks. This is a city here, so um I don't know, I don't know. I think actually I might build a barracks in Hyuga, because if I'm going to attack Bongo, I'm likely to send an army from Hyuga to attack them, so that I don't leave Higo uh, with less defense. So I build a barracks in Hyuga. And we'll end the turn, last turn, and then we can move to Goto Island. 
Ooh. Okay, construction complete in Satsuma. Um, <coughs> I just wonder if I got 4,770. Um, I might build commercial farming in Hugo then. To hit in Higo, sorry. Oh no, we have got another couple of turns yet to replenish our troops. Okay, never mind. I thought we'd be attacking by now, but uh, I would prefer to have a full stack of troops rather than some with a few men lost, less than others. Construction complete in Hyuga. I might build... Which one of these to build? Probably this one, I think. It doesn't decrease happiness. Okay, uh, so it's just my general one cannon that needs to be upgrade, uh, to, needs um, replenishing, but we're not going to bother with that, we're just going to move now. We haven't left this place undefended too much, so we're fine. So, Nagasaki does have a very, very small navy of two ships. Um, so, that kind of says to me that if they have a small a navy, surely they would have some kind of army nearby. It's probably just hiding. Technology research! Yay! Oh, I can get an explosive shell. Okay, let's see what's this. Manipulator of Menu. It has come to my attention that we are not fielding Gisha, despite having the ability to recruit them. I recommend that we recruit one at the first opportunity. Recruit the following agent of a Gisha, and what do I get? I get plus 10% to the chances of a successful Gisha action. Oh, a clan got destroyed as well. Josai. I don't know where that is. I don't know where most of these places are. Oh, well, fine, we'll buy a Gisha then. Pretty straightforward. Um, as for technology, I'm, I'm. I know I was saying we were going, we were going to go backwards and forwards between research, but I think I might go for explosive shell first. Um, just because I'm going to be using, I'm not going to be losing. I'm going to be using my navy a fair amount. So I reckon if I have explosive shells, that gives me a bit of an advantage. Then I'll do this one, which I believe was what the one I was going to do next, which is the Merchant House, which increases wealth. So we'll do that one second. Disembark army. Still have a pretty big garrison, unfortunately. <coughs> but luckily this time I have a couple of line infantry extra. Okay, so they have another general, because I believe I killed one of their generals in the last time I fought them. But they have three line infantry and four levee. I have two line infantry and six levee. And I also have three cannons. And one cavalry. They have two cavalry, two melee, and one matchlock. Okay, so let's save. Save succeeded. Resume and begin the battle. So... In our second attempt to invade Goto Island, the clan has moved out of their castle and attacked me again on the coast. Thankfully, I have my navy with me and I have three units of artillery. Although, wooden cannons don't have a lot of ammo, I found out in the last battle. That was a bit, a bit frustrating, a bit annoying. I thought there was a bit more ammo than that, but um, oh well. I just hope um, we win this battle with less casualties than last time. That would be preferable. Then we can move against the actual castle itself. I'll be able to use my naval my navy in attack against the castle itself anyway afterwards. I'll just move my navy round, but um, you know. Having more um having more advantages in my favour would be brilliant. Obviously. Oh, Shogun 2, why are your loading screens so slow? I hope they fix this for Rome too. 
because the loading screens in Shogun 2, even my friend who's got um, a PC that's, I would say, probably a bit faster than my one, his loads just as long. So it's definitely the game. It's not the computer. Well, I suppose there's a, a little bit of it is to do with the computer, but the majority of the issue, I would say, is to do with the game. I think it's probably just the way the game was designed. So we do one, two, three, two line infantry in the centre with the levee on the flanks. We'll do four men deep. That should be alright. Four men deep, or should I do three? Let's see what how good three is. Okay. And then we'll have my general at the back. Moving forward a little bit just so that my two line infantry are within his uh, influence range. Actually, I might put him a little bit this side because that way he's near some of the. These three units of levy are the least experienced ones. So, kind of need them. Prepare to defend, sir. All right. <clears throat> Luckily, that uh, line infantry is a bit experienced as well, so hopefully they'll be able to do us proud. So let's see what we got. They're doing the same formation they did the second, the first time round. Uh, Frontline infantry, melee infantry behind that with the matchlock. Oh no, that's line infantry. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, why you lag? Why why you lag? There we go. Uh, two generals. So we'll just fast forward a little bit. You can see my ships in the background. It's so on. It was a bit annoying that we we found out in the last battle that if you watch the ships in the distance, they don't actually have any flashing from the guns when you do the naval bombardment, which is sad. That'd be an awesome little feature to have, but ah well. <coughs> okay, here we go. Wooden cannons begin your attack. Here we go. Right, let's see if we can. Right, there's a general. There, let's shoot him. We can hit the general. That'd be an excellent little bonus. And he definitely did a lot of damage there. Right, I have my naval bombardment, so I'm going to put it here. I'm hoping that's not too far forward or too far behind. We'll soon find out. I'm certainly doing some damage. Okay, they're moving. Here comes the naval bombardment. Oh, we hit that unit hard. Oh, wow. And there. Oh, look at that. We have done some serious damage with that naval bombardment. Although most of them just got knocked over, which is a bit annoying, but uh, still. Look at that. That's just from my cannons. He. <laughs> okay, my artillery is still firing. That was slap bang in the middle. I didn't kill anyone though, that's really annoying. I definitely need better cannons. I wonder what percent. It doesn't tell me the percentage of enemy units. It, that's really annoying. They, they they didn't include the percentage thing in the in this game. Like they have in uh, Medieval. I don't think they included it in Empire either, or Napoleon, which was a bit annoying. I did like that percentage thing was really good. Unfortunately, you don't have that anymore. 
Front line. Well, I've only got one line, but front line units ready to fire in any second now. Here we go. How come you're not firing? Is there no Why aren't you firing? Ah, my cannons are out of ammo. Okay, now they're firing. Okay, that much lock unit has just been fucked up completely. That unit got absolutely destroyed. Okay, these guys are want hoping they'll shoot the general. S spear levy in the way. Oh, my door's banging. Pause for a second. Sorry about that, guys. If I have my window open, sometimes my door begins uh, opening and closing due to draft and stuff. Alright. I want everyone to stay in guard mode. What are you doing? Okay, you're killing the general. Fine. Um, rather a stupid thing to do, but okay. Oh, I have our naval bombardment. Excellent. Uh, we will aim here. There we go. Get back into formation. Your general is under attack. Yeah, well, oh well. Okay. What are you? Are you chasing that general as well? Shoot him! Don't, don't melee him. Shoot him. Good. You actually followed my orders. <laughs> you shot at the general. That general's down to ten. I think we're doing okay. All right, I'm hoping my navy, my naval bombardment's coming in any minute now. Oh, oh it's already been and gone. Sorry. <laughs> Hence why there's a load of craters here. Um, yeah, it's been and gone. But look at that. Look at this. Doing pretty well. That general got. That general's routed. back to the lines. See, they shouldn't have angered me. They shouldn't have uh, gone to war with my clan. Okay, I don't think that. Okay, I think they're all right. They're all in retreat. Right, general. It's your turn to start. Your time to shine. Just get a nice little overview of the battlefield. Look at this. Beautiful. Well. Pretty damn good. Go, General. Go, go, go. <coughs> so we've got 107 men there. 106. We'll take out the 107 first. I think we might as well just have it on fast forward then, because it's probably going to take a little while. There we go. Take out all of these guys. Right. We've done enough damage there, we're going to take on the 106. General, look! Their allies run! Take on the 53 now. We're just basically wiping out as many of the enemy units as we can. Uh, I think that's all of them there. Dead, gone, done. It's an entire regiment we just wiped out there. Wait, why is there there are men down here? It's Twelve men left on the battlefield. Twelve enemy troops are left. So we'll just take care of them. 
And I'll just give you guys another quick crossover with the camera of the battlefield. The enemy casualties and then I'll double back and show you the show you my casualties. So let's have a little look over this side. My line infantry took a little bit of a beating, but they definitely did very well. Alright. So we've won the second battle for Gotto. Next stop is the castle. The castle itself is within our sights. I don't think we actually took as many casualties as we did in the first battle. So um we should be uh, we should be strong enough to be able to take the castle now. I lost 338 men. So yeah. And he's leveled up. Woo. Alrighty. So we'll lay siege to the castle. We'll put our navy nearby. And uh Gotto will soon be ours. Development level increases. Autumn. Minus ten percent to wealth. Damn it. Okay, let's see. Let's upgrade my general first. Um, command when defending, or no, we want attack. Retainers, let's see. Plus one to the charge bonus of this man's bodyguard. Plus one to the melee attack of all traditional units under this man's command. Probably do the cavalry one then. Okie dokie. Right. Yes, my lord. Let's attack the castle. We still have a thousand men. Thanks to that garrison. And they still have their two generals. I thought I thought I would have killed one of them, but apparently not. So let's just move my navy up. So it's within range of the town. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We'll lay siege to it for a turn. Uh, and then we'll... Oh, Akisha. I forgot about her. Let's send her around. And what to build? Oh, we can upgrade our castle now. Uh, should we? Oh, should we build a barracks or should we upgrade? I think we'll s we'll build the barracks first, and then we'll upgrade. Okay, and uh, head back over here. End the turn. Killed in single combat. What? Oh no, I lost my veteran. Ah, oh, my veteran was killed. That's a bit of a that's a bit of a bummer. I can't get another veteran anywhere. Not good. Hmm. Alright. Next turn we'll upgrade the castle at Osumi. 